What's up guys? So I just checked into my resort at uh, Koh Phangan. I got here via the ferry. It took about an hour and a half from Koh Tao. This is a nice little uh, quiet beach resort. There's probably only about like, like 25 people on this beach and it's surrounded by jungle. So the only way you get here is by boat from the Koh Phangan mainland. And it's uh, centered like right about uh, north of the, the island. It's called Bottle Beach. So I'm at Bottle Beach One Resort. I'll give you guys a quick walk around of the, the resort and hopefully you like it. Let's check it out. This island is definitely good if you're trying to get a good relax session in. A lot of Koh Phangan is a party base, so this side of the island is definitely really chill. Not a lot of people. The beach itself is about a, seems to be about a half a kilometer long, so very short. There's only about three restaurants. So if you're looking for a nice, quiet place to relax, definitely check out Bottle Beach. It's chill. Okay, so I just arrived at uh, Havren, and uh, I'm going to be hitting up the full moon party tomorrow. Um, Probably gonna catch a mushroom shake tonight, so uh, I'll be on the lookout for that. I heard uh, through a few locals that there's a uh, bar called Amsterdam Bar, and they have uh, pretty good mushroom shakes there. Yeah, I'll give you guys a uh, quick little run around of uh, Hot Rin, what it looks like in the daytime, and then we'll see uh, how crazy it gets tonight. Uh, it's hot as fuck here, by the way. So this is what the uh, the walk to the beach looks like. It's a pretty crowded street, especially at night. Uh, there's a lot of bars, a lot of nightlife, and uh, there's actually a, uh, a lot of food options too, which is pretty nice. So yeah, if you ever stop by here, uh, you're never short on food. Um, there's also a ton of 7-Elevens and stuff, so you can get the, uh, the beers and the alcohol cheap, and uh, as well as snacks and water and shit like that. So it's always nice to have a good 7-Eleven nearby. Shroom shake, here we go. Hey, <laughs> Alright folks, this is about when things almost went to shit. You see that gentleman there in the center? I just met him that night, and he'd only done psychedelics and low dose one other time. Judging by how cocky he was going into this, I knew he might be in for a humbling bad trip. As we took the taxi back to Hagrin, we started to come up. I was like, shit man, this is stronger than I expected. The gentleman was covered in sweat, and somebody in the back of the taxi noticed and asked him if he was okay. Judging by the reaction on his face, you could tell his trip was about to take a turn for the worst. We missed our planned stop and got dropped off in what seemed like a Thai military base with Thai police walking around holding machine guns. I tried to keep things under control by making a joke about how we were about to get mowed down. We finally got back to the main strip, but you could tell the tension and unease was rising. The two gentlemen who were friends were not looking good and wanted to go back to their hostel before heading out to the full moon party. But I could tell they weren't going to make it out that night. The other person right there on the left was my friend BJ. 
And while he had more experience in tripping, you could tell he was brought down by the vibes as well as also wanting to go back to his hostel. This left poor Nicholas alone, and suddenly I was starting to feel extremely hot and found myself drenched in sweat. As I made my way back to the hostel, I had to fight back feelings that I might have been poisoned for close to two hours. I puked over four times and I was pretty convinced I wasn't going to be able to make it out. Then suddenly, against all odds, I felt a swarm of confidence and my mind started to feel at ease. I made my way into the crowd of 30,000 people and stared into the eye of the full moon. It was one of the best trips I've ever had from that point on. I later met up with BJ and he was having an amazing time too and we shared some of the things we went through. Unfortunately, I was tunnel vision on getting out to the full moon and I did not bring my camera. But these are some of the clips I happen to capture on my phone. Alright guys, uh, I don't have my fucking regular camera with me. I just have my cell phone, but this shit is fucking popping. I'm off the fucking shrooms. Fucking, uh, it was a hard recovery. Uh, the first to come up was super hard. Um, yeah, it was rough. having to piss outside here in the water because there's no bathrooms around uh, you just gotta deal with it it's me pissing the water look at this shit though fucking absolute fucking crazy look at this shit look at this shit yeah I can't even believe that there's this many fucking people it's like 30,000 
check out this dope shit. Woo! Good ass shit. So for sure, Copenhagen has been great. And I'll catch you guys on the other islands. Uh, what can I say? Life is fucking great.